Right, I got me, I got my camera, I got my script, and I got a playground. This is actually the first time I filmed in public, so it's really awkward. Let's do this. Hey. Hi. Hello. It's me, Georgia, and today's video is about the good, the bad, and the funny playground memories from back in the kindergarten and primary school days. So I'm 16 now, which means I'm too old for this playground shenanigans. So these days you get playgrounds like this. But when I was little, we had playgrounds like that. You're jealous? So rewind back to kindergarten when your bag was as big as you were. <laughs> I'm so mature. <laughs> and your homework was a sheet of connect the dots. I'm sorry, miss. I went to nine first instead of eight. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to start all over again. <laughs> when that school bell rang, you would rush out to the playground and make sure you were the first one on the monkey bars. Yeah! <laughs> monkey bars! The monkey bars seemed like the biggest death-defying drop down. <laughs> oh, it's too high. It was a struggle just to reach the monkey bars. But now it's a struggle just to keep your feet off the ground. It's been a long and you would use all your energy just to get to the other end. Why? Because it was embarrassing. Because if you let go, you felt like you hadn't achieved anything and you had to go all the way back to the start. And all the other kids would laugh at you. <laughs> Speaking of monkey bars, you know when you were trying to master the skip one in between strategy? O-N-F-I-D-E-N-T, that's me, I'm confident. Tastes like dried up paint and metal. You would try so hard that all these little white calluses would appear on your hands from all the effort. When this happened, did anyone else? <laughs> Spit on their hands. One to make it feel better, and two to get more grip. Now slides. Who remembers that really annoying kid who would sit at the top of the slide and stop everyone from going down just to piss everyone off? You all can't go down because this is my slide. But I was always that kid with the logical attitude. I would just whip out my terms and conditions like, it's not your slide. Yeah, it is. Mm. And who gave you the authority to own this part of the public playground? Another thing to do with slides. Okay, was I the only kid who tried to run up the slide instead of just sliding down it? You would always try to run up the slide, getting a massive run up. So your runway would end up getting bigger and bigger. But of course, since it's not your playground, as we learnt before... Oi! Everyone would get in the way. Clear the runway! Okay, ready? 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 Oi, watch out! Watch out! Courtney! Move! And then when the runway was finally clear, you would go for it! Now this usually resulted in a bruise and a face full of plastic. But did you care? <laughs> yep. <gasps> if it was an excuse to go to sick bay, all the other kids would be so jealous because you went to sick bay. As you strutted back into class with your lollipop and a cute little band-aid with smiley faces on it. Yeah! Score! Back in the day, there was even peer pressure. Bet you you can't do it. Bet I can. Bet you can't. Yes I can. Yeah? We'll prove it. <laughs> what? Okay. Swings! Oh no! no. Yeah. Oh. I hate it when that happens! Do you remember when it was a really hot day and your bum used to get stuck to the sweaty seat of the swing? So when you tried to do the whole like swing and fly off, it didn't work because your bum felt like it was super glued to the swing. Okay, who remembers this pointless crap that was scattered all over the place? Like, I know it probably has a purpose, but what? I mean, I wonder how that government vote went. Okay, so who votes wood chips, bark, and splinters? Me! Indeed, splinters seems like the perfect substance to cushion a landing. I don't understand! That stuff hurt. Didn't you hate it when you were riding the flying fox? And as you were riding it, it didn't quite make it to the end. Oh, dang it! Yeah! <laughs> but instead of just accepting that, hey, You've been defeated by some play equipment. No, you would not give up. You were not gonna let go of this thing until you got to the end. So you would spastically wriggle like a fish to try to get to the other side. Now 
not everyone knew the tunnel was not just for crawling through. No. It had many purposes. So if you were in the tunnel, you were either sitting in it, but trying to go upside down, gossiping about someone, picking your nose in private, farting in private. Yeah, but this never usually worked because every noise that you made in the tunnel echoed. So then you would quickly skidaddle so no one knew it was you. <laughs> so that's all the playground memories I have for you today. This video is inspired by the one and only Liza Koshi. She's so funny and she always makes my day. She is literally my favourite YouTuber in the world. I'll put the link to her channel in the description so you should definitely go subscribe to her. If this video made you smile or laugh, please give it a big thumbs up. And please subscribe because I post videos every Saturday. Or Sunday sometimes. And I'll see you next Saturday. See you later, potato.